In this video, I'm going to go over how to tape your foot up for kendo. If you're a beginner in kendo, you may have developed blisters on the bottom of your foot, and it takes a while to develop the kind of tougher skin needed in kendo. It just comes from regular practice. And every once in a while, you'll still develop blisters, especially if you go to uh, a camp, a kashuku situation, where you're practicing multiple times a day for days on end. And in those cases, you may need to tape up your foot. A quick note about what kind of tape to use. This is a regular roll of sports tape that you can find in any old drugstore. Comes in packs like these. You can also buy them individually. But these are not really ideal for taping your foot because they don't really have any give in them. They're not very elastic. On the other hand, this is a tape called Elasticon and it has a little bit of give to it. It's a little bit stretchy. And you need a little bit of stretch because your foot will expand as you put weight on it. And I will put a link to the Amazon page where you can find this. And even if you can't find this exact tape, you'll want to use a type of tape that has a little bit of stretch to it. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to tape up my left foot, but this would be the same for the right foot. Just do the mirror image of what I'm doing here. You want to start at the top of the foot, going outside. Come around. With a slight overlap. When you're taping your foot, you'll want to put some weight on it so the foot spreads out a little bit. You don't want to tape it and then find out that it's too tight. So the key to taping your foot for kendo is to have a piece that's on the bottom of the foot coming through your toes. So you want a piece that's about that long. Now you want to cut down the middle this one conveniently has a line down the middle. So you want a piece that looks like that. And you're going to put this piece on the bottom of your foot. And then the two loose pieces come around so that these two pieces are taped over the top. Then you want to take this flap and tape it over the top like that. And you can trim it to the right length. That way the final top strand will keep these strands secured. So this is what the bottom of the foot looks like. And as you can see, it's taped from back to front so that as your foot slides forward, the tape doesn't roll. And this piece will also help keep the tape from rolling off. When you want to use the regular sports tape is when you have one of those painful, sometimes you get these painful cracks right at the joint of the toe where it meets the bottom of the foot and regular sports tape is good just to tape that up of course this is too thick so what you want to do is cut this in half so with the sports tape all you have to do is put a little notch in there and then you can tear it down the middle about that much should be fine maybe even a little bit less a 
and then just tape up that joint. And as with the uh, taping of the foot, you don't want to tape it too tight. I'm going to give the toe some room. So that's when you would use regular sports tape. If you do end up using regular sports tape to tape your foot, then you have to be extra careful to make sure that your foot is spread out as you're taping it, so that when you put weight on it, your foot isn't bound too tightly. And that is how you tape your foot for kendo.